Do you put limitations or hard rules and policies around social media usage for your kids? Yeah, no. So and I ask that question specifically yeah. because social media is a fire hose and when, uh, not control, it's very easy to go towards more and more extreme yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So as a parent, as a steward, as a, as a guy, as a Sherpa, yes. how are you helping them? with the social media usage? Yeah. So great question, right? So the 19 year old, she's going to do what she's going to do. 26 year old, he's going to do what he's going to do. The 14 year old, it's a different conversation. It's a lot of work, man. Honestly, we try to get her to, sh we, we, at one point we were saying, okay, nine o'clock or eight o'clock cut off. You're in bed by nine or later than 10. And it's just, you know, your point is so valid. It is such a drug, such a drug. I'm actually reading about, uh, Digital deluge right now in the book Limitless around the idea of how it's draining us and how it's, it's sucking life out of us, even though it's a really great tool at the same time. It truly is. It, it, it has been a, it has been a challenge. It has been a true challenge, especially now when that's the only way that they can really communicate with one another. So I, I grew up with a hard and fast religious view that says these are all the don'ts. Can't do these things. No, 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 no. What I realized was the no, 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 no didn't allow me the opportunity to truly assess the options and choose for myself. So I've let go of the concept of the no, 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 no. And I'm trying to find ways. This sounds really sad, but it's really true because I'm wanting to develop individuals. I'm trying to find ways to compete with social media. Really, that's really what it's coming down to. Sometimes at dinner, yeah, put the phone away. But outside of that, it's like, wait a minute. If I try to distract them or take away what's so culturally normal for them, then all I'm doing is really trying to control them. When in reality, I want to influence them to think for themselves. So I don't have as harsh lines as I used to. I just follow it to the nth degree. Knowing they could have a, a, a ghost account, I understand, but I'm not interested in trying to chase all that down. I look at their main accounts. What are they talking about? What are they sharing? And then I also participate with them. I send the funny type Instagram messages that they like. I don't have a TikTok, but if I come across one, I send it to them so that I show them that I'm a part of where they are and it can be used for good. Here's the deal, CK. At no point has anyone on this planet ever stopped a kid from doing what a kid really wants to do, just like an adult. So my job is to try to influence and be a part of the culture as much as possible and show the life that's available through it. And I know, I know for a fact, part of what I'm struggling with to get this other information in is really dealing with social media and that psychology that happens there. But I'll just keep chugging away. I'll keep chugging away. I love that you are focusing on using more power and influence rather than force and, yep. and rules and guidelines. I love that. Then you have to do the internal marketing necessary yeah. to yeah. guide them the attraction and, and yeah. magnifying rather than like a, like a smackdown of what not to right. do because the egoic mind is automatically allergic to any kind of force. Yeah. Right. Cause I remember when I was a teenager, if my parents tell me not to do this, yeah. guess what I'll do? I'll definitely exactly. do that. For 